Hello and welcome to the course where you will build a chatbot for a website. My name is Jana and I'll be your instructor helping you get things done. I'm a developer with over 19 years of experience. Your mission here, should you choose to accept it, is to create a chatbot for a web page by the time you finish this course. And in the course we'll be building a sample chatbot. Its purpose is only to show you how things work. Our bot on the page will help us sell products. It will give recommendations and measure demand. And in the process of building this bot, you'll learn all that is needed to build a great bot. To get the most out of this course, you can work on this sample bot and at the end tweak it to suit your needs. You need to have at least basic knowledge of Node.js and React to start with this course. I'm here to help you out. I'll be there all the way. And if you have any questions, let me know. If something is not clear, let me know. This will help me and the course to get better. So go to Frequently Asked Questions and we'll clear things up. To make it easier for you, I've added git commits with changes to every video that has a change in the code. This way you can compare your code to mine and you won't lose time debugging. And remember, for any questions, I'm available in the questions and answers. You are not alone. Just a word of caution, you'll be asked very soon to leave a review. If you're not ready, you can just keep it. Let's go through the steps you'll need to do to complete this mission. I'll tell you a bit about every section of this course. In the first section, we'll take an overview of an app and get familiar with the tech stack, that is technology used in this course. We'll look at application architecture and different ways we can implement it. We'll go through every implementation and I'll take you through development stages. Second section will introduce you to Dialogflow, natural language processor that we'll use to understand what our visitors want from the bot. We'll go through building blocks of Dialogflow. You'll learn about agents, intents, entities, parameters, pre-built agents and more. Then in the third section we'll start building server-side app. We'll install Express Library and generate Express App. We'll configure it for Heroku and deploy to Heroku. We'll also set up local server called Nodemon. When you have a basic server-side app created, you'll be able to connect it to Dialogflow. And that's what we'll do in the section 4. And front-end will be the next step. In fifth section, we set up React, configure local servers, create a proxy for communicating with backend, and we'll create components. Components for the page and for the chatbot. Our chatbot will begin to look like chatbot in the fifth section, but we'll really polish it in the sixth section, where we'll create rich messages like cards and quick replies. And we'll also go deeper into dialog flow feature like follow-up intents, contexts, events, and slot filling. Features that make the bot creation much easier and much friendlier. When our bot is polished, we make it smarter. We want our bot to remember what user says. Therefore, we need to store information that we get from the user. In the seventh section, we'll be saving to database and also use what we know about the user in a conversation to make the bot friendlier. We like if people remember our preferences. It is the same with bots. In the 8th section, I'll show you different ways of implementing handling actions. We'll be using fulfillment. I'll show you how to call fulfillment only for intents that need extra code to be run, only for intents that need to get information from a database or that need to call some other API or maybe connect to a device. When we master fulfillment, we deploy to Heroku. In the 9th section, we'll take care of some extra configuration like routing, possible scripts for generating front-end, and we'll go through the code and make sure that all is as needed before we deploy. And finally, the 10th section. I'll show you how to connect to Dialogflow straight from front-end. To do that, we'll need to make some changes in the architecture. I'll tell you the benefits of every decision. And after the course, you'll have a demo bot that you can tweak and tailor to your needs, and you'll have the knowledge to upgrade it. And one more thing. Dialog flow might change the interface. They roll out new features daily. What I do is re-record videos if the feature is important and changes the development. But if there is only a slight change or a design change, then I leave videos as they are. Therefore, if the interface is a bit different, don't get confused. All that you will need will still be the same. And remember, I do update the course. So if any major changes will come, you will get the fresh and new version out of the box. Okay, are you ready? 
Again, your mission here is to create your first chatbot. Ready? Steady? Go! Hi and welcome back. So you have accepted a mission to create a bot for a web page. Great for you. In this video, I'll show you how our bot will look like. So here I have our story. We will create a business page where we will sell products. It can be any kind of products. For the demo, I will be selling IT courses. Since well, I am selling them anyway. So if you are selling any kind of other products, that is okay. Or if you are providing services, that is also okay. In this tutorial, I will go into details and explain every piece of information you need to be successful in creating a great bot. The bot will be made in a way that it will know how to understand natural language and respond to user demands. Wow, does that sound like Star Trek? Don't worry, it will not be too complicated and I'll be there on every step of the process. And it will not be just text and response kind of a bot. We will add rich messages to the bot. And in the process, I will show you how to create any kind of rich media you want. I will show you how to connect your bot to other sources of data and how to save data you get from the users so you can later process that data. So, okay, here is a mockup of our page. A page with a menu, content, and here we have a chatbot. Here is the bot's title. My chatbot has a name chatbot. You can call it any way you want, like for example, vegan food shop assistant. Besides the name, we have the close button. Our users will be able to just close the chatbot window and use the site in an old fashioned way. We need to give the users an option to browse site without a chatbot. That is why we need a closed chatbot functionality. And then I'll teach you to first make a simple text request to the bot and text response from the bot. We'll use the NLP that is natural language processing service to do that. I'll tell you all about it in the future videos. Don't worry, you don't have to be an artificial intelligence professional. Service that we'll use is simple to learn and we'll go through every building block of it. Next, I'll show you how to create cards and quick replies. So these are these here. This is a card and a gallery of cards. And this is a quick reply. Looks pretty simple, right? Well, to do this, you need to know how to build a backend app, the front that we just looked at, and you need to know how to use NLP services. And to connect your bot to your shop, you need to work with databases and web services. In this course, I'll teach you how to connect to a database. So let's take a look at the stack a developer needs to create a bot. One note though, because this is a demo, I will not be wasting time with designing a page. I will make it very basic. I want to focus on a chatbot development. So let's proceed to developer stack we'll cover in this course. See you in the next video. Bye bye. Hi and welcome. In the previous video, we looked at how our app is going to look like. In this video, I'll show you the technologies we're going to use for this project. So let's take a look at the tech stack we'll use. So here, what we'll need is a front-end app to display the bot. We'll be using the React library, so the interface will be made with React. And yes, React is a popular JavaScript library. React returns the HTML and CSS and it generates the user interface, that is web page and a chatbot. So React on the front end. But React needs the information what to show. That's why we need the backend app. So front end needs to communicate with the backend to get the data to display. Data like items on the page and for the bot it needs to get the bot's response and extra data for the response. So the user request will go to the backend app to be processed and then returned to the front end. And backend app will be hosted on Heroku. I chose Heroku because it's easy to use and it has a free tier with no serious limitations. It's perfect for building simple apps or demo apps. Okay? 
If you prefer any other alternative, you can freely deploy your backend app there. In this course, we're using Heroku. Backend will be built with Node.js, so again JavaScript, but a server-side JavaScript built upon Google's V8 engine. Node is a great language for backend web apps. And I also like the fact that I'm using the same language on both sides. Okay? What we'll also use is Express. Express is a framework that makes building backend apps much easier task. It helps with requests and routing, and in fact, it has become a de facto standard for the majority of Node.js applications out there today. So, okay. Now we have a backend and a frontend. What about natural language processing? We need something that will translate what the user says to the bot into something our backend app will be able to understand. And we have just the thing for it. Dialogflow is a Google service, an NLP that is natural language processor. What does that mean? You probably heard of NLP and NLU. That sounds similar, but is not the same. Dialogflow is NLU, but it's much more than that. It's also NLP. Yeah, I must sound like crazy now. So let me explain. NLU is a natural language understanding. That means that NLU helps us understand what the user wants, what action does he or she ask for, what are the extra parameters, what is his or her intent. So, NLU transforms natural language to something a computer or our app can understand. Okay? So, what is NLP? Well, that is all that and a little more. NLP are all the systems that work together to handle end-to-end -end interactions between machines and humans in the preferred language of the human. In other words, NLP lets people and machine talk to each other naturally. So, Dialogflow also helps with returning the right response and it provides integrations to chat platforms. I have a whole section that will show you what Dialogflow can do. Okay? So, now we can parse natural language. Our stack now has Node.js, Express, React, Dialogflow and Heroku for hosting. What we'll also need is Git. We'll use Git for tracking changes, versioning, and deploying to Heroku. Git is the most popular versioning system now, and I strongly recommend it. Last on our stockpile is MongoDB. We'll use Mongo to store information. MongoDB is a document-oriented database. Instead of storing your data in tables made out of individual rows, like in a relational database, Mongo stores your data in collections made out of individual documents. In MongoDB, a document is just a big JSON blob with no particular format or schema. So, we'll have some information in Mongo to display to the user and we'll also store in the Mongo the information we gather from the user. Okay? So, our stack is now full. What we'll use in this course is Node.js, Express, React, Dialogflow, Heroku, Git, and MongoDB. Now let me show you something. These are the building blocks of our bot. We have a React frontend, the user interface that gets the input from the user and displays the response from the bot. Then we have a backend app that receives requests from frontend, forwards text to Dialogflow, handles the feedback from Dialogflow, performs extra action if the user wanted some kind of action, for example, it can fetch some information from a database or other web services, or it can send emails, or it can calculate something from user's input, or it can authenticate the user and, at the end, return a response to the user. And Dialogflow parses user requests, that is, parses natural language, and returns the response, actions, intents, parameters, and contexts. We'll be talking about all this in the course. Let's first see how these blocks are wired together in the next video. So now you know what the stack of this course is. And yes, you need to be somehow familiar with them. You don't need to be an expert, but some previous experience would be great. 
I will try to cover as much as I can and explain everything in detail. But if you have no experience, I strongly suggest you take a course about Node.js and React first. So see you in the next video, where we'll take a look at how application works behind the scenes. See you soon. Bye-bye.